Hello everyone. At EVE, each step forward brings us closer to delivering a competitive eVTOL. As part of our journey towards certification and our flight campaign, we are advancing our development with another crucial test. The various wind tunnel tests are key milestone which take place along our path of certification, helping us validating aerodynamic performance, enhance the efficiency, noise levels, and also ensure the highest standard for safety and reliability. Our commitment remains very strong to push the boundary, meet the rigorous certification standard, but also to deliver the best product to our dearer customers. And now, I pass the word to Luis Valentini, our CTO, and Edgar Takara, our product development engineers, who are right now in Holland at the DNW facilities, and they will tell us all about it. Hello, my name is Edgar Takara, wind tunnel test engineer from Andorra. This time, we came to DNW LLF subsonic wind tunnel in order to perform the power-on test of the EVTOL from EVE. So far, we have 12 people here uh, from Embraer and EVE. So we are coming out here from different technologies in order to help and support the test. We're still a young company. But we benefit from the full heritage and experience of Embraer, which has been doing this for more than 55 years. Embraer itself performed many tests in these facilities for successful program certification. And this is now the moment for EVE. So testing the vehicle here allows us for flexibility to test different configurations, such as with rotors turned on, pusher turned on or off, and that way we can also measure individually each of these parts. This data we feed into our models and then we simulate with more maturity and more confidence that our development will go as planned towards certification and entry into service. We are really proud to complete the 10th Nintendo Test campaign from the EVTOL from EVE. All this work that Valentini and Takara explained to us allows us to fine tune our design and take the lesson learned to the next steps. This year, we will fly the engineering prototype we revealed at the last Founder or Airship. Later on this year, we will also start to manufacture our conforming prototype so we can certify our EVTOL in 2027, followed by the first aircraft delivery to our launch customers. So please, stay tuned for more news as we continue to evolve and bring air mobility closer to everyone. EVE, up and forward.